So Freeport, mighty city of the humans. While I'm tempted to run right through this gate here, I'd be missing out on a couple things worth mentioning out here. Oh, hello, fellow gnome. So, speaking of fellow gnomes, there's actually a gnome out here. And one thing I want to point out as I go through this journey is how many non-humans we see in Freeport. And I'm talking NPCs. So this is Ping Fuzzlecutter. And Ping is a fellow gnome. He looks kind of like me. Oh, someone just gave me so. Nice. And one would assume that Ping came here from Akanon and probably came here to become a merchant. And he has some unique items, like famously Fuzzle Cuddle Formula 5000. I wonder if that means it's the fifth iteration of it. And uh, why not patronize him here? Because who doesn't love a good old fashioned Fuzzle Cuddle Formula 5000? Wow, what is all this crap I have in my inventory? Well, maybe Ping will take it. So Ping is a gnome. Who knows why he's here, but he decided to come here. By the way, his drink here is an enduring drink, which I think is the highest level of drink you can get. So that's a pretty unique item that he has. And it's one of the reasons why he's popular. He has a couple other unique items, or at least one other. Oh, I think these two. Is that better than what I have? It might be. It is. Well, it's heavy though. So he sells a hat. I guess he sells two hats. That one's even heavier. Yeah, I, I, it kind of just highlights what I talked about last time where other races come to Freeport. What time is it? It's kind of dark. Okay, 3 a.m. Yeah. Not as dark as I would expect it to be at 3 a.m. So Ping's here. He's here to wheel and deal. Furthermore, much like Quenos, the sister city to Freeport, also the other major human city that players can start at, I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. It has a hidden wall here somewhere. Is it on this side? Maybe it's not. Oh no, I think it is. Wait, maybe it's not. <gasps> a dark elf! Oh, he's apprehensive. And he's blue. Well, uh, tally another one for another non-human character here. Hold on, I really thought there was a hidden wall over here. I know there's one on the other side. Yes, there is. How did I miss this? Okay. So it's all the way over here, kind of in the corner. What would this be? The south? Okay. And I'm not going to go too deep into this now, but these tunnels all connect to all three Freeport zones. East, west, north, they all connect to these tunnels. I'm not going to go any further than this because I may actually end up ending the tour coming out of this tunnel. So it might be this one, might be the other one, but I'm still curious to see if I'm killed on site in some of these uh, underground parts. I don't think I will be, but you never know. So the last thing I want to point out before I show you the other tunnel. Oh my God, this guy came all the way out here. Whew, poor bastard. What did he do? Charles Mage. Well, <laughs> oh my God, did he mean to die? That's so weird. Sorry, dude. Okay, I was going to buff this guy, but he doesn't look like he needs any help. He looks like he has plenty of gear. There's no merchant over here, although it looks like there could be one. But what I wanted to point out, if I could find an example of one, I did in my last video. Well, I wanted to point out orcs. There are orcs out here. And I find that interesting because the other two human cities are constantly under siege by a relatively minor threat. The orcs in this zone are a nuisance. Here's a, here's a dead orc, so this will work. So these orcs are coming from the common lands and to some extent the desert, and they are constantly fighting the humans. They're not winning, as far as I can tell, but they are a nuisance. And in Quenos, it's the gnolls that are constantly charging into human territory and being a nuisance to them. And High Pass has the distinction of both gnolls and orcs constantly being a nuisance. Now, who knows who was there first? Were the humans there first? Were the gnolls there first? Were the orcs there first in their respective zones? 
The gnolls certainly claim they were there first. Killing them gives you great human faction, you'll see. Killing them with my new weapon. I was just in these commons, and I cannot believe how cheap some things are. Okay, so these are both quest items. I'm not going to hold on to them for now. But you can see I get Ashen Order, that's the Monk Guild. Common Residence, that's humans that are in the commons. Deathfist works, obviously. Guardians of the Veil, so that's interesting because that's halflings, so they have a common enemy with the humans. At least one. And Knights of Truth, that is the North Freeport. Okay, so when you walk through the gate here, first of all, you got this high wall around the whole city, which is really cool. Really protective, kind of a great little lore tidbit. The humans have this city pretty well fortified, and they've got a lot of guards. In addition to the guards that you see out here, we have another non-human. But we also have this area over here, which you could probably call like a little guards quarters type area. Accessibility ramps, gotta love it. I'm apprehensive, that's kind of funny. And I, I like how, let's see if I can do this without falling, yep. I like how you get a really good view up here. see that high elf running into Freeport and this goes it doesn't yeah okay so it stops here yeah okay I thought there was oh okay I remember be, there being a way to get over there but no biggie does this wrap around here no it does not okay so this is this is part of the exterior wall that is pretty well guarded and also doubles as a Sleeping quarters for the guards and probably training. Ooh, what's this? What? Wait, that's just a light, right? Oh, it's a cactus. <laughs> Boy, that's a pretty tall cactus. Someone should trim these. Do you trim cactuses? I don't know. I've lived in a desert. Okay. So that's the guards. And they're doing a pretty good job. Now, this you would assume is an extension of the guard outpost that we saw in here. But this is called the Freeport Militia House and founded on sweat and steel. All right, that's pretty intimidating. So this is where you would, if you were just an outsider visiting Freeport for your first time, you would assume, oh, this is where I would go if I was having any trouble. However, this little house of guards that was built on sweat and steel is under suspicion of being somewhat corrupt. And that gets into sort of the lore of Freeport. I'm just taking a peek around this area here. So I, I like that they add stuff like this. It's a little... uh sort of a, I mean, it's falling apart, but sort of a battalion strike force thing. This is some sort of um, catapult, I assume. Can I climb it? Yeah. Using my gnomely size to my advantage here. Oh, and look, I like that you can see there's some sort of temple thing behind me, and you can actually go there, and we will. Now that is Captain Hazrin. He is popular. You see someone here doing this orc quest. If you kill orcs in the commons, you can get belts. You turn the belts into that guy. it will give you experience. It lowers your faction with the North Freeport. I actually wish I had one here. Just to, uh, and I don't, do I? Ah, oh, bummer. I wanted to show. So, there's three Freeports. West and East are pretty much on the same page. North is not on the same page. North is feuding with West and East. And this, is a, this guardhouse is a big part of why. The people who run the north, which we saw in a previous video. Oh, that's probably this guy doing the quest. Oh, that's my favorite face. That's the priest of Discord face. Jose lost. Jose? Jose? The paladin and cleric guild that I, that I went to to buy my spells and train on dodge. They are the other major force in the city. So you've got the two major forces. And I would say, based on kind of looking around, guard jump. Three letters love it more sleeping quarters i would say there's really three three major factions in freeport that are sort of 
vying for power. And then there's a couple factions that are just kind of neutral. Like, they're in Freeport to just do their thing. They're not necessarily trying to be the dominant force in Freeport. These guards are one of the forces. The knights and paladins and clerics in North Freeport are another force. And the people that are underground are sort of the third force. Now, some people would lump those in with the guards here because they would say, well, those people underground in that little tunnel I saw, and another tunnel, and many tunnels. There's tunnels. There's a tunnel system that goes under all of Freeport. Those people are all working with these guards. And working with and being completely on the same page with are not the same thing. So there's another, ooh. Okay, so there's a character here who's never really up because he's used for a quest. Yeah, this guy wants nothing to do with me. There's a main mob here who's the rural, or I guess I was gonna say sort of the guy who runs this guard faction, this building, and all the guards in East and West Freeport. And his name is Sir Lucan Delir. Now he's got Sir in front of his name, which is what the guards in North Freeport have. He's, I think he spawns here somewhere, like either here or here, something like that. This, this looks outside, right? Yep. Gnome powers. He is a controversial figure and he's used for a quest on purpose, a paladin quest, because he, he's got the Sir in front of his name because he was once a paladin, at least so the lore says, the lore that I looked up. He, and here to the left is a popular merchant that often gets charmed by people that are here killing guards for experience. And that takes you to North Freeport. We're not going to go there yet. So Sir Lucan de Lear used to be a paladin, and he was part of that North Freeport guild. But then they started suspecting that he was abusing his power, and they cut him off. They said he wasn't a paladin anymore. I guess he kept the name Sir. And uh, he basically runs half of Freeport, and the clerics and the paladins run the other half, and they do not see eye to eye. I always loved the shape of this tree. I would love to see a tree like this in real life. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but it's just so pointy. And like, this is a desert. So what? how did this tree even grow? So many questions. Now, this is an inn. And inns in this game are notorious for being not just inns, but sort of pubs as well. I guess you could say the same thing about hotels in real life. But this, across the way, I like it. Because you can see from the little kiln out here. Is this a kiln? Yeah. That there's, there's probably going to be something trade skill related. And I have not done any trade skills, although as a gnome, I do have access to tinkering. But tailoring, pottery, things like that, jewelry making is one of the popular ones. It's sort of an aspect of the game that was ignored until the Velius expansion. For the most part, there are some things you can do with the trade skills, especially smithing and tailoring. You can make some armor, but other than that, it wasn't really used for much until Velius, and even then it was kind of gimmicky, just used for certain quests. But I like that this building is white on the outside, and oh, this vaunted ceiling looks amazing. That's the kind of thing I wouldn't have appreciated as a kid. Um, this is a big-ass shop. I'm going to guess, is, is this something? Yeah, it's something like pottery real. Okay, so this is like a big trade skill hub. Which is a nice little lore tidbit because, oh, ceiling's corpse. Interesting. I was just marveling at the ceiling in here. It really is some nice wood paneling. And all of these things, these merchants, they'll carry random junk that people sold to them. Like, these are all probably things that were sold to them. Like, I sold some words earlier to ping. And this probably didn't originate on this. Oh, can I use that? No, I can't. But on top of that, they'll have a bunch of stuff for trade skills, and I'm mostly seeing pottery stuff here. Now, I remember coming in this inn and getting attacked on one of my characters once, and that always made this building look scary for me. I was like, nope, not going to go in there anymore. And hell, I might still get attacked. So here we have the pub. Captain Orange Spiced Ale. And this guy, let's see, does he, what do you want? Leave me be. Can a man drown his sorrows in peace? Okay, so here's sort of a nice little setting the scene. This guy's obviously drunk. He's got a quest. You can tell by the, let's see what he says. It's either a faction thing or I didn't ask the right question. And a lot of these doors don't go anywhere. 
they're just sort of role playing like oh this is where this guy fills out things and he's got a light there <laughs> you gotta appreciate the little lore things now there was a high elf in here that attacked me in one of my characters once because i was too evil oh another non non uh, human we have a dwarf Flint side and wind shot. I'm apprehensive to a lot of these, which is a little bit scary. Oh, here's the high elf that attacked me. Lady Shay. Hello, it's always good to meet someone new. I am Lady Shay of the House of Dumas. Dumas or dumbass? And what house are you from? I'm not from a house. Nope, I didn't say the right thing. I'm really, I'm 0 for 2 tonight. I'm not saying the right stuff. Um, unless, of course, you have a muffin or two. Oh, yeah, the muffin quest, yeah. You can give that guy some muffins. I think you get faction. It's one of those like cheap little turn-in things. It's mostly used for faction. A halfling. We got another one. Hail, mighty one. What are you doing in this city? You should be out slaying beasts. There's nothing to find here in this city. I disagree. There's a lot going on here. It's kind of funny that they make her say that. But I also wonder if the developers put that in. It was like a... Hey, just so you know, most of this game is just killing stuff. It's not actually doing quests. So get out there and kill some stuff. I I like when they make these inns have rooms that are actually populated with NPCs. I, I want to say I remember getting attacked by her once too. She's level 15. So she's a half elf. I don't really consider that to be a different race. I mean, technically it is a, I guess the game considers it a unique race from the humans, but they don't really feel unique from humans. Um, I think they're a combination of wood elves and humans, although it could be high elves and humans, I'm not really sure. So there's a few quests going on here. I, I like this area. And then we have another choice. I'm going to go this way. So every city has an arena. And arenas are almost always in the warrior guild, although not necessarily. This one is. So when we were in that, that warrior guard house... And we saw this. This is this is what we were seeing. We were seeing the warrior guild. And these warriors are called the Steel Warriors. Now they play, they're one of those factions. Still nervously conning. They're one of those factions I was talking about that probably is sort of just observing. They don't really want to control Freeport, but they want it to be under control. And they want to just do their thing. And I'm guessing here you can kind of see into the warrior, but yeah. Yep, yep. I like that. I, li I wonder if it's on purpose that it's right on the other side. I'm not a member of the Warrior Class Guild. You must be another young warrior aspiring to join the ranks of Steel Warriors. We welcome all who should try. When you have time, there's a friend of mine I'd like you to check on. Wow, I just met you and you're asking me to check on a friend of yours? So if I were to... I could technically get attacked by another player here. That's why it constantly warns you as you move around. You have entered the arena, PvP. And it's true, I could get attacked by another player. And some people used to sit in the arena and just sort of wait for other players to walk in. I paused there for a second because um, the music is doing this thing that it does every once in a while. <laughs> it's annoyingly sort of just gets stuck on a certain bar. I guess that's a consequence of it being a MIDI. Um, right now I'm getting this like sustained note that is really annoying. So here we have a prisoner. This is another role play thing. I mean, if you're gonna have a jail, you gotta populate it with prisoners. Some of the zones do a better job of it than this one does in my opinion. I think uh, Arudin does a really good job with its prison and High Pass, High Keep does a really good job. I wanted to go down. I thought there was a way to go further down. So this actually goes and leads outside. I guess that was as far down as you can go. Oh, 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 wait a second. Another little tidbit here. So beyond the warrior guild, that's the ramp I ran up to get into the arena. We have another guild hall. And I assume these are still warriors. Oh, interesting. I have not been here in a long time. I think these are warriors, so. Glowers at me dubiously. Okay, that's kind of scary. That's one step away from being KOS. Now there is a, a Freeport Forge. Interesting. Okay, so she's not gonna have a lot to say. 
Hello, I am the Guildmaster for the Great Warriors of Preport. I hope you yearn to become a Steel Warriors. We're all here at the bunker. We are... Okay, so I wonder if this area is called the bunker. Oh man, I thought as a gnome, I might be able to squeeze myself back there. We are in need of more recruits to continue the war. I'm... Let me see what Warriors talking about, if he'll even talk to me. The war I speak of is the one we still warriors have sworn against the clan that yeah, it's the orcs. So I guess this is kind of the warrior guild, and the other one is just the arena. I don't know, because there are warrior guild masters in the other one, so this is sort of just an extension. Oh hello. Okay. So yeah, like I said, a lot of these little rooms that are buried in buildings are kind of useless but they're kind of just lore they just they wanted the world to feel big and i think they did a good job considering you know 1999 22 years ago now this game came out in march wow march or april i can't remember it's one of the two so that's the warrior guild and it's one of the two main guilds in this zone the other one i'm going to go to right now because it's really cool it's right down there it's the academy of arcane science and that is the other side of the building, that, that the inn that I was afraid of. So this area is really cool. Because, while well, we have a Eurodite, technically a non-human, so we'll count that. We have a gnome, another gnome. Look at how many non-humans are. But also, look at this guy. This, I assume, is an enchanter. Yep. Who has used his illusion, not... The Guns N' Roses user illusion. But he has used his illusion powers to become a Aviac, which is awesome. I mean, if you want to create the impression to new players that enchanters are the masters of illusion, a great way to do it is to make one of the enchanter guild masters experiment by turning themselves into an Aviac. That's awesome. And you get plenty of cool stuff here. I'm noticing that there is an opening down there. I guess that goes to the, what do you call it? The sewer system. So this is going to be where the magicians, enchanters, and wizards go to train. This is their guild. And if you're wondering how you get in there, how do I get in there? Try walking on this little platform. Shwink. Look at that. And here we are inside the Mage Guild, and I think if you walk on this, yeah, it puts you back outside. So that's kind of a cool little system there. So if you go down, and for some reason on another character, I always remember going down here. I'm guessing maybe it's the Enchanter. Yeah, this guy must be an Enchanter. He's casting haste. This is where the Enchanter spells are. Now, Int casters are considered Mages, Wizards, Enchanters, and Necromancers. You will not find the Necromancer Guild here, though. In fact, I don't know if there are any, there's really no city zone, there's a Eurodite, there's really no city zone that you can go to where the, so the, the intelligent caster guilds are typically lumped together with the exception of the necro guild. That one is always on its own. Think about it, Arudin, well that's a whole different city. Here, you don't see the necro guild here, it's in East Freeport. Ooh, here's an important character. Speaking of necros, potential necros. Yeah, I shouldn't say anything. Remember that name, Opal Darkbar. And by the way, High Elf. Or is she? But uh, Gnome Guild, Necroid separate, or Gnome City, Necro separate. Is that a High Elf? Yes, it is. See, they're creating the impression that races are coming from far and wide to study here at the Academy of Arcane Science. Because it's, like, it's an academy. It's like a college in the US or something. I know there's a lot of cities out there, countries out of colleges, but I think they were trying to create that impression, like this is where you go to stay. Uh, what was the other, I was thinking of one more city where they, oh, Niriak. So Niriak is one place where the Necros aren't banished, but they are still in their own separate area. So if you're an ink caster, come on down. They got all your spells, all your training. And that is the guardhouse again. So we're almost done with West Freeport here, but there's one more critical area to look at. Well, actually, there's a couple. This is the Monk Guild. Well, this is the Monk Guild. And you can see the Academy of Arcane Science in the background. Love that. 
the monk guild with the a little theater here because if you live in a major city you got to have arts and culture right you got to have your uh radio city music halls your your kennedy centers your what's this place called is there a name for it i thought it was called like the theater of tranquility or something but maybe i made that up anyway arts and culture gotta have it major metro city there it is and this is i'm assuming oh boy that's a that's a model you don't see very often it's like red hair with a gypsy style dress and some midriff nice batwing crunchies i used to make these on one of my characters back in the day that's a, something you can make with baking kite shield that's pretty much what i have right yeah Okay, so some baking supplies here. That's interesting. I, I really have never seen that model before. Like, you don't see that in any other human area that I can think of. Oh, and here, this is something that they in implemented into the game, but no one ever really used. And honestly, the internet kind of just ruined it. You can get, like, trade skill recipes from a lot of these various books that you'll find throughout the game. But it's, it, just look them up online. You're better off. They don't even give them to you straight up in this it's the same with um, spells for people that have to do spells like uh, research. You can find books that give you hints about what the recipes are, but it's easier to just look it up. Now, here's a halfling. I'm not going to count half elves. Here's a halfling, and these guys are both bad boys. I remember doing a quest for, I mean, look what they say. Them's the breaks. I'm not KOS here, right? Okay. This is the monk guild. Uh, there's some sort of quest in the sewers that brings you to these two. So they're shady characters. They're not shady swashbucklers, but they are shady characters. The Ashen Order. So that's going back to that monk um, orc faction that we got earlier. Academy of Arcane Sciences. Love it. And there's, there's a similar tree. So this is where monks go to train. And I think this building looks great. I love the monks practicing their jujitsu on each other on the outside i guess this guy's oh maybe this guy oh yeah only monks can get that kind of look that like bare chest with some leather straps on it look and that, that those pants i love those pants they look great i'm glad that they made sort of special graphical mod modifications for monks because when the game first came out, there was only one race that could be a monk, and that was humans. You can be a monk in either, uh, these are the, oh, I don't wanna get this wrong. Half the monks are here in Freeport, and I can't remember what god they serve. It's either Quelius or, ah, I can't remember. Uh, another connection to the sewage system, although I don't think this one actually lets you in. Which is good, because not every sewer that they show you should be an entrance to the sewer system. You gotta have that variety. Spice it up a bit. Otherwise, it's too obvious, right? Oh god, can I fit through here? Oh my god, I can. can I, most races can't fit through there, I'm assuming. Where does this take me, though? Oh boy, what did I get myself into here? Oh, actually, I know where we are. We are outside of... Oh... Okay, so this will take me to the, I might, well, I'm probably gonna end in uh, the other zone, but this, actually, what is this place? Herbs and medicines, interesting. This is another big shop. I'm guessing they sell potions here. Well, courtyard for nothing other than access to the sewage system. Yeah, so they sell potions. I actually like that they put this in the game because shamans can make potions, but they're not always available. And if you're a cleric like me and you can't cast a visibility on yourself, 10 plat will get you an invisibility potion, which is not bad. Gate. Anyone can gate for... Ooh, that's really expensive, though. So melee classes can't gate, but I guess if they have a lot of plat, they can. Where does this connect me to? What is this building? I'm always worried that I'm walking into some sort of evil place. Or a place that's really good and doesn't like Vertoxels. Nope, we're good. Unnamed building. 
Where even, what? <laughs> How does this connect to the rest of Freeport? I'm confused. This, this is not an area of Freeport I explored thoroughly. I don't think because there's, there's not much over here. Oh, I see. Okay, I can go left here. Just saw that guard go left. Ah, uh, okay, I know where we are. Okay, so we're back at the um, little monk area. Okay, good. Now that will go to East Freeport, I think. That's not where we're going, though. We've got a couple more places to see in West Freeport. One is over here. Ah, whatever. There's a couple ways to get there. Loop back to the guardhouse, take a right, a U-turn, and this area. Now this is often where people will sit if they are camping the human guards. In fact, that's probably what this guy's doing. Yeah, you, you normally see either a druid, a necro, or a shaman here. Here's another non-human. Oh my gosh. Greetings, please look through my fine wares. I have spent my whole life practicing my skills and tailoring. I do my best to compete with the other local merchants, but I have yet to make a profit. I pray to Tunair that she prays to Tunair because she's a wood elf wearing a very skimpy outfit. My bandit orc vests. Wait a second, wait a second. How did this get through their QC? First of all, why is this A capitalized? Second, why is there a space before... <laughs> There's a space after the bracket. Okay, I feel really bad for her just based on what she's told me. What is she conning me? Apprehensive, okay. Well, you don't really have anything that I need anyway. If you had like a, oh, I'll buy a chunk of meat, even though I think that's pretty expensive. There, you, may, you maybe I helped her make a profit. Let's see what she says about this band work vest though. There's not supposed to be a space after. Glad you're interested. I can create a leather vest I call a banded orc vest that will aid you in repelling any disease, any disease, and offers quite a bit of protection in battle. I would need some materials for death fist orc. Oh boy. I'm curious to actually do that, but I'm worried I won't be able to wear it. Okay, so this guy's killing human guards. Now, you can see the Academy of Arcane Science in the background. This area, if you can't tell, this area is designed to show you that Freeport is not a perfect city. This area looks pretty desolate. I mean, this woman is basically homeless. I guess she's got this little traveling caravan thing, but this little pool of water over here. Oh, come on, let me out. But not only does Freeport have some uh, poverty issues, it looks like there's been some lynchings. I mean, there's nooses here. What do they do, public executions? Jeez, pretty barbaric for such an advanced city. And why is this looking? Thought Freeport was the uh, richest city. Oh, well, who knows? But clearly, in this, uh, uh, when you have this kind of wheeling and dealing atmosphere, some people are, uh, as Bruce Springsteen said, there's winners and losers, and don't get caught on the wrong side of that line. It looks like we also have some political commentary here. <laughs> I'll let you interpret that however you may. And we're back at the Academy of Arcane Sciences. Now, was that it? Was there anything else I wanted to show? I don't think so. So I'll do North Freeport next. And my favorite way to get to North Freeport is right up here next to the gate, because the gate is back over there. That's where Boomba is. Let me simply go through here. Okay, so they do a pretty good job of showing you the signs for each zone, which I like, because if you're the wrong faction and you enter into a zone, in fact, let me go back to that card you'll get killed by the guard because you can have great West Freeport faction, but this guy, Sir William or Willem will kill you. So just be on the lookout, especially if you're like a dark elf or something or some race that's barely tolerated in West Freeport or East Freeport, you might not be tolerated here because there's a whole different guard structure here because this zone, which has city hall in it, is controlled by a different group of people. It's controlled by the quote unquote good races or not race, but good uh, faction. City Hall is a little empty. What do we got, like a government shutdown here? There's no one here. Where do I go to file my complaints? Well, there's probably a lot of complaints to file in Freeport because this city is a mess. 
not just because of the crumbling walls and the poverty and the lynchings. Bard Guild, Mars Hearts Chords, weekly shows, lessons, instruments for sale or trade. I love that. You gotta love that. So the bards are, oh, another non-human. Felicity Starbright. That name sounds really familiar. She must be in a quest. Oh, I'm losing my sew. Oh, maybe this guy can. Nope, <laughs> he's a bard. So they, they do a pretty good job of these bard guilds making them feel musical. And I love the music they're playing right now. But there's not much for us here. Finest Dwarven Steel west of Caledon. Here we go again. We got more races that have come here from afar. Two dwarves and two humans. The hired hands. I love this art on the walls. Another dwarf. And that piano is great. So you can get some armor here, but no players really end up buying armor from NPC merchants because they're just so damn expensive and they're not that great and they don't really have any stats on them other than armor class. Here is another area of Freeport that I think most players don't really bother with because there's not really a reason. Well, for one, we have the Office of the People, which I would assume is, but what's the difference between this and City Hall? And we also have the Office of Landholders. Wow. Okay, so I think the point of those plus City Hall being in this zone is to show you that the Paladins and the Clerics that run this part of Freeport, they've got, they've instituted more structure than you'll find in Delivered Note. Interesting. I kind of want to buy that. I think I will buy it. You see more structure in this zone than you would in West or East Freeport. Oh my gosh. Do I want to read all this? Oh, this video is going to be so long. Desolin, who knows who that is? Wait, is that who this is? No. Mother talked to me again and urged me to help you with your pastry business. I argued with her for hours about how you've given my prior recipes away. I will tell you a few to start with one stipulation. If I see these goods sold to any other merchant, you'll never talk to me again. Uh, okay, so we're getting a trade school recipe here. Hmm. Remember, this is a family secret. Interesting. Facel. Let me facel this back to her. Actually, I bought it for one silver and I sold it for nine copper. That's not bad. It's not a bad uh, rate of return. Now, these areas are more for lore than for function. They just want to create this atmosphere of... Oh, I'm surprised I made that jump without so. This, I assume... Oh, yeah. We get another connection to the sewers. Those damn sewers. They got to plug these holes. Isn't that suspicious to anyone here? All these holes? Oh, my swimming is not good enough for this. Let's go back to... Maybe I will go through that hole. I'm done exploring this zone. This is... Actually, where does this lead? Because this isn't where I thought. Hall of Truth, okay. Okay, so Hall of Truth is the other cleric guild. And I was a little confused by this because I don't really know the difference between this guild and the other one. I remember playing a dwarf paladin long ago. A minnow. Interesting. I remember playing a dwarf paladin and coming here, but these people certainly don't worship Brel's Rulers. I, what's the difference between this and uh, the other Paladin Guild? I don't understand. It might be that they worship a different god. Now, the other one I want to say was Arolisi and Mithaniomar, god of love and valor. Does that sound right? Let's see what we can find. 
Gotta be a guild master around here. Mr. Hogo. I wonder how much thought went into picking the names of like guards. Okay, so here's a couple. Whew. Okay, but what god do you serve? The Truthbringer. I think that's Nathaniel Mar. We urge all knights and clerics to oppose the hand of the Freeport militia to join the crusade. If your soul shines with purity and strength, the might of Nathaniel Mars stands for all who join. Soon that might will help us in the city, free the city from the tyranny of the Freeport militia. So you can see the struggle going on here. These people here do not like, is this really a room to nowhere? They do not like the Freeport militia. I mean, this, this city is totally torn apart. I, I Okay, so that's the, the other paladin guild, the main one. Wow, that's a big building. I'm wondering though, maybe these are Nathaniel and the other building is um, Erolacy? Welcome to the Hall of Truth. We seek, we the Knights of Truth are all the hope the city has, loosening the grip of, of Luke and Delir and his militia. I seek a young knight to serve the will of truth. So you got a lot of quest opportunities here. They must have really thought a lot of people were going to pick Human Paladin. Or they just really thoroughly fleshed out quests for this area. Was that it here? I just want to check real quick. Is there anything back here? Empty. Empty. Okay. So I guess if you're a paladin, a human, now you can start in Quenos if you follow, I want to say Rod Set Knife and Karana? There's another um, god that you can follow as a human paladin. Besides Rod Set Knife, that'll start you off in. Okay, sorry for the crappy audio here. I just quickly wanted to make a video where I launched as a human paladin and I chose Nathaniel Mar. And indeed, go to North Freeport, cross the river to the Hall of Truth. So do not go to the Tower of Mar or whatever it's called. So I guess that really is just for a roll to I also checked the other deities that a human can be. If you're Quellius or Rod Set Knife, you start in Quenos. If you are either of the Mar Twins, you start in Freeport. Back to the video. Ah, Freeport Coalition of Tradesfolk. So this is kind of how the modern version of Freeport, based on my reading of the lore, was founded. It was founded on these tradesmen that came here and sort of became the predominant force. Now, if you look at the lore, if you want to just Google Freeport, EverQuest, because there is a <laughs> there's a real life city called Freeport. This lore it gets it got a little not complicated, but a little bit too drawn out for me. It, it involved dark elves and high elves, and I don't know. It was, it was a lot. I mean, when I think of Freeport, I think of it as a human city. It may not have started that way, but that's certainly how we see it now. Although I have been keeping tally of all the non-humans, and there are plenty of them. Okay, let's see. Coalition of Trade Folk, though, those are... Ah, another non-human. Counter-Barbarian. This, Temple of Mars. So what? what, what is the difference? Now, I already did a tour of this zone, uh, this area. I'm just wondering... Like, is it that if you are if you follow Rolisi, this is your guild, and if you follow Nathaniel, the other one is? What is this guy doing here? What is this Barbarian doing here? He's not going to tell me. This zone has quite a few of these in like places. Like this, this, I don't see anything on the door here, but there's just random merchants in a lot of these. Let's see, what does this guy sell? Does he sell anything? Is this just as a, is this just a building for the guards? Okay. I guess so. This is almost like a guard's quarters, like the equivalent of what we saw in West Report. Yeah. Interesting. This guy probably has a quest. He must be important if he's in this room all alone. Or so you'd think. I often wonder how much of this game became unfinished. Like, they had all these plans, and then they were like, oh my god, budget, deadlines. <laughs> we gotta hurry up. But we haven't fleshed out the quest in that one building in Freeport. Screw it. Release it anyway. It's kind of how uh, 
game design works as far as I know. I mean, this is another empty building, but you can see it's either a house or a inn of some sort. Now this, I remember because I remember having to buy, and what a perfect name for someone who sells gems. I remember having to buy something here for the crafted armor quest. Man, I'm really reaching. <laughs> Jade and Amber. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, does she sell milk? Is she a jewelry merchant that sells milk or was my eyes deceiving me? Okay, my eyes were deceiving me. And then we have, and, and this is just another, um, there is a homeless guy over here that's worth taking a look at. Because again, Freeport has poverty. What well, city doesn't, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I thought there was um, a Lucky the Beggar over here. So, from a player's perspective, here's the part of the zone that you really came here for. The Freeport Market, mm, mostly that, the bank. But before we get to the bank, a halfling, another non-human. This one I think has a little bit of lore. What does she say? Oh, hello there, friend. How are you on this fine day? A beautiful day to be alive, I must say. Anyway, I just got into the Freeport last month. See, so transient. Wow, is this city big. Way bigger than humble Little River Vale. That's where I'm from, really. Wouldn't have guessed that. I'm working on setting up my own little business here. Fellas Foot Combs and Footwear, it'll be called. But I don't have anything to sell yet. Uh, it looks like you do. You got a Kunzar cloak. <laughs> Safe travels to ye, friend. All right, well, check back in a couple weeks. You've been saying that for 22 years. I don't know that you're actually gonna ever live up to that promise. So this is, this is just a market area. I guess this is gonna be like brewery type stuff. I am wondering if any of these buildings have a secret link to the tunnel system where evils can come and go. But this looks to be just another inn with a shop. Well, it might not be an inn, it might be uh, where the merchants live actually is there anything behind here because sometimes they give you like a little courtyard i guess not here oven and the music does a good job of setting the scene here too so many little shops i love it and this one's empty hey that lady should that halfling lady should use this as her shop although is this really a great entrance? I mean, it's right in front of the back of another building. And what is this building? Oh, this one has dwarves in it, I want to say. No, this one has nothing in it. Never mind, she should come in here. The Emporium. A piece of wood is on the ground. Ah, another non human. I love it. Is this the one that was empty? No. Ah, we have a half elf selling clothing. Yeah. Among other things. Dang, if that wasn't 103 platinum, I'd buy it. And we have the bank, the vault of Freeport. And a floating uridite. And a high elf. Look at all this money I have. So much money. And of course, what bank would be complete without a vault? But I don't have the key or lockpick, but it's okay. It's just a guy and a rope. Hey, I do sort of see. Oh yeah, that's that links up to the sewer system. Open the doors. <laughs> and this last one. Interesting. Ah, here we have a little courtyard. Can we see anything out here? Just a very purple sky. Anyone hiding up here? Wanig News. <gasps> What's this? A bag? 
What could this be? Oh, no. Fishing grubs. I thought it was going to be a lore thing. Fishing grubs is what a lot of forage players, um, players that can forage, I should say, pick up. Chip on collar. 18 plat. Oh my gosh, I would totally wear that. Yeah, I would. Damn it. Can't afford it. I'm four plat shy. Shouldn't have bought that fuzzle cutter formula. 5,000. Now, I will forever remember this building because I had to go here for the Shaman Epic. Castle's Tavern. Now, when I said that, I meant the Jade. Tiger's Den. But first, we're getting that sustained note again. Here we have another bar. That is so annoying. And away upstairs. And nothing upstairs. Does this guy say anything? Okay, so the Jade Tiger's Inn. This is a big building, but there's really not a lot going on here. That's probably why they decided to plug part of the part of an epic quest in here. Whew. Big courtyard. Wow. Oh, that might be that big building I saw. It must be, in fact, because I was on the other side of that wall. Yep. Yeah, there's some NPC for the Shaman Epic that spawns in the second floor of this, maybe even the third floor. How many floors does this have? It was in one of these. It was like a spirit. My Shaman was Nyxar, so I did not have human faction, so that was kind of an interesting, joyous occasion to get here. And that's the Paladin Guild, the Hall of Truth, or no, not the Hall of Truth. Temple of Bar. Oh, pardon me. There's three floors. Is there anyone up here? I seem to remember an NPC up here that wasn't the Shaman one. Oh, no, guess not. Unless they're hiding on the other side of this. Nope. Now, this place is called the Jade Tiger, I believe. And look, all the walls have a green shimmer. I like that. That's a nice little detail. Is that done on purpose? Maybe not, but a nice detail nonetheless. I think we might be done with North Freeport. Get me out of here. Uh, was there anything else in North Freeport? I'm trying to remember. There's a few more of these um, buildings, but I, th I think that's it. Can we sell the Bard Guild? Okay. I want to try, I want to try that uh, tunnel, the sewage one. I really want to dive into some sewage. I'm a little hesitant to go into the sewer because this way, isn't it? I'm a little bit worried about, there's, there's basically one NPC in particular that is a dark elf that I think is on Niriak faction, and I don't know that I'm going to be accepted. Let's give it a shot. Someone did leave a very helpful comment in a previous video where they said, when you get to that area, uh, try to con... Wait, did they put a boat here? <laughs> That's hilarious. When you get to that area, type slash target and then her name. And you might be able to target her without actually seeing her and out of aggro area. But really, if I was any other race, I'd be running right now. But because I'm a gnome, I'm swimming. That is annoying. Okay, be advised, if you ever zone in there, this is one of the zones where you actually have to turn around because it positions you when you zone in toward the zone line. So if you run forward, you're just going to zone back to where you were. So I'm surprised that this took me to West Freeport. I thought it would take me to East Freeport. Now we have a choice. We can either go right and down or straight. And again, if I was any other race, I would be walking right now. I think even half of us would be walking. Where the hell does this put me? That is surprising. OK, 
Okay, I guess we really only have one choice. Hmm. Surprise he's KOS. <laughs> Where am I? I do not know this zone super well, so I was I went through this pretty damn blind. I just kind of wanted to point stuff out as I saw it. Okay, so that, I know where that is. So let me try going the other way. That's that area near like the monk guild and all that. Oh, my swim is any better. It's funny that I can jump. Oh, I don't like this. What? Ugh, okay. That was a waste. Okay, that turned out to be a waste. Don't go that way, because it just leads to some dead ends in West Freeport. However, we've got one more zone to explore. It is East Freeport. It's actually my favorite of the three Freeport zones. And you can't get there from North Freeport, which surprises me a bit, but that's the way it is. So let me warp over to West Freeport. Ah, here's where it says the name, Theater of the Tranquil. Now, back in West Freeport here, and so this is the Theater of the Tranquil, the Kennedy Center of Freeport. Now, East Freeport is my favorite of the Freeports for a variety of reasons. Now, remember when I said there's poverty in West Freeport, and I guess to a lesser extent, East Freeport, whoa. Got an enchanter killing guards. Uh, I'm sorry, poverty in West and to a lesser extent North. Well, there's really poverty in East Freeport. So, from the way that we're coming here, we can either go toward the, uh, well, I've been through there. That's to the Northern Desert of Rowe. That's to the dock. But I want to go this way. We have Leather and Hide, which is another uh, clothing outlet. We have the Helith and Bardo's imported goods. I just want to see if there's any non-humans here. Where's where's Veloth and where's Bardo? Huh. Interesting. Trader's Holiday, great name. So this zone is sort of designed to be the first place you see when you get off the dock. Oh, and I gotta sew to help me hopefully run through this a little quicker because this is already way longer than I wanted it to be. I just get so caught up in all these little silly details, but they fascinate me. Ah, oh, there's nothing even here. What a waste. Okay, back outside. There's one place called Armor by Ichthar. There it is, Armor by Ichthar. I always wonder if that was the uh, motivation or inspiration for the name Ixar since that ended up coming out later. But it's just another blacksmith. Oh, here's another interesting human model with that outfit. The face isn't interesting, but the outfit is unique. I wish they would have used those more, considering how many merchant NPCs you see in the game. You mostly just get this green one here. And all these guys look the same. Is name Kith? Could have done a little bit better with that. What is over here? I, there's a specific area. Okay, here's another homeless guy. A specific area I'm looking for, and it's not the zone line to West Freeport. Doesn't this just connect to where it was? <laughs> okay. There's a really good like poverty type area in West Freeport. I'm sorry, East, which is where we are now. Is there anything down here? Now, some of these connect to that area. Okay, here we go. So Hollard's Resale, okay. So this, I won't go in there yet. I just want you to look at this. You have an area that goes down and this is what they call the slums. Now, again, I remember on one particular character getting attacked here. Don't think that'll happen on this character. Because I'm not evil enough. But, or good enough, whatever the case was. 
This area, this is one of the problems that Freeport has. A lot of poverty here, chops and hops. Now you see that, you see that coming out of the ground? That's from underneath. So this is the woman that attacked me. Whoa! Hold up. Apprehensive, okay. Whew. Okay, so we got a dark elf walking around, non-human. We're starting to get, oh no, this is the guy that attacked me. Ooh, he's close too. Now listen to that music. The music is getting sinister. We're getting into the area that's controlled by the evils. This guy, funny enough, I think is like a good guy. What do you want? Can't you see that I wish to be alone? I have no need nor desire to speak with anyone. I have managed a homer to ponder, and I'm the only one. The only person I wish to speak to is the captain. What? Captain. If you ask to ask that, you should not be in this fine establishment. That's funny. Gora's Smithy. I'm curious which one of these, if not multiple, connects. Now, the fact that I wasn't killed on sight to that one Dark Elf makes me wonder if I'll be okay with the Dark Elves that are in the sewer. There is a way that connects. I just can't remember where it is. I remember it being harder to find than I thought. What does this say? Warning, condemned, do not enter. For sale. <laughs> and you literally cannot open this door, which is interesting. This is the one that connects. And I'm just trying to remember how you get in there. I think you have to get in from above. So remember, it's that grayish, pale looking building. It's another dark elf. <laughs> I would love to chat with you. I just realized something. I do not waste my time with whelps. Okay. So it kind of feels like the people here the bad people, it's this building. Ooh. Or is it this building? I think they actually connect. Let's see if we can get down to the sewers. They're, they're being taken advantage of because they're poor, is what it seems like. Or they're poor because they linked up with the evils and had their money taken. It's just kind of how it feels. Is there, is there a secret entrance? I think I gotta get into the other side of this building. here maybe in the back there's a door over here okay yeah i think it's down here oh please don't let me die that's not how i want this to end mm -hmm. look at that we got some evils down there i'm right above them so it's got to be around here somewhere can hear the music telling you that you're close. But how close? <laughs> is that not the right area? Oh, this is so frustrating. It can't be up. It's through this door. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You see that? The wall looks a little different here. It's a little lighter on the right than the left. Yep. Secret door. And where does that take us? To another secret? No. Now this is the door that we couldn't open from the outside. And there's that dark elf walking around. <laughs> and now I'm in the basement. Ah, this music is scaring the hell out of me. Because now whenever I see someone cast a spell, I'm going to be like, are they casting a spell on me? Because they're KOS. Now that, I think, is the Shadow Knight. Oh boy. 
I gotta be careful here because I think <gasps> that's the one I'm worried about. What is she con? Dubious. Okay, I should be safe. <gasps> oh, remember what I said to remember that name, Opal Darkbriar? She was a high elf in the other zone? Why is she a dark elf here? What's going on? You'll have to excuse me. I have no time to talk right now, and I prefer to be left alone. Please leave. Now this one, I actually might be able to. Are you devoted to an arc? I am devoted to an arc. I am devoted to. Ah, I want to see if she'll give me this note. My brother requests her presence in Nuriak. Okay, I might actually be able to do this quest. If I can, it'll boost my faction massively. But. You see, you've got a cleric guildmaster here, I think. No, she's not. Are you? Yeah, this guy is a cleric guildmaster. But he won't tell me anything. And she is a necro guildmaster. Okay, so I guess the story is that the necro guild that's underground, that's another cleric, has infiltrated the Academy of Arcane Science because they have the ability <sighs> just conning everyone they have the ability to um, well disguise herself so that she can kind of keep tabs and spy on the Academy of Arcane Science because the people underground which is the Dismal Rage I believe they're called they're sort of that third faction that's working with the guards in West Freeport I shouldn't be KO. I mean, I, I think I already came across the one that I'm most likely to be KO to. So these tunnels are pretty expansive. And Opal Darkbriar kind of runs everything down here. That's the impression I get. She's even got her own faction. And it eventually, I think if you go that way, it links out to the outside gates of East Freeport. And if you go down here, one of these ways links to West Freeport and one links to the docks. I actually want to go to the docks. I feel like I'm going the other way though. Interesting. So here we are in another area that it looks like Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like this ties back to another building. Oh no, this is the dock area. Okay, cool. And what time is it? Because at night, there's a dark elf out here who ugh, I don't think I'm KOS to. Okay, so let's say that you took the boat, but your KOS here. Oh, there's, what? This is a way for evil characters. Oh, there's the one I'm looking for, I think. No, that's an MP, that's a PC. This is a way for evil characters to jump before they get to the dock and swim through there and they won't be KOS in the tunnels if they're the right evil faction, which is basically anything but XR. So trolls, ogres, dark elves, they won't be KOS there. Evil humans, erudites. It's so funny to me, there's another person over here. And this all links up to the docks where you get the boat music. Do, do, do. And we get another bar, which might link to the sewers. Well, the music would certainly indicate that. It's good to know that I'm not KOS in those sewers. Yeah, this all links. Yep, this is where I just was. Okay. Cool. Whew. My freaking gnomeness continues to amaze me because it's the combination of being gnome and Bertoxus that seems to get me in everywhere, good or evil. It's like I'm just evil enough to not piss off the evil people, but not quite evil enough to piss off the good people. Like the High Health Paladin Guild. And there's another um, group of NPCs in here that I remember attacking me at some point. Scar and Swift Fingers, interesting. Two non-humans. Uh... I'm 
remember there being an ogre in here. I think he might only come out at night or during the day or something. <laughs> this is probably the diciest of the bars. That's an actual bar. Interesting. Now, you may remember from a previous video, I jumped off that dock, came here, and we got Port Authority, Book Passage, Visit Fedor or Kunark. I wonder if they added that later because obviously Kunark didn't exist when the game first came out. Although there, there might have been like, like an item that you could get in this game from the very first when the game came out. It's called Ice of Velius, but obviously couldn't go to Velius. And there was, I remember there was an NPC that said something like, it's colder than Velius in here, something like that. Uh, indicating that you knew that Velius existed and it was a thing, but you couldn't go there. And then this ties back to that gate area that I saw earlier. And let's go there real quick. And that'll be the end. Well, I guess the end will be, uh, there's just a couple more shops here. We got another tavern, so many taverns. That is a really weird picture. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey there. Got like some blood stains behind him. I don't think there's anything back here. <laughs> yep. Another bar. So many bars. How much drinking can you do in Freeport? A lot. Okay, that about sums up East Freeport. So the last thing I wanna do, if I can find my way out of here. Okay, last thing I wanna do, you might remember this area. This looks just like West Freeport. It's a big gate with a bunch of guard towers. No ogre on this side. But, we got the same little guard structure, same little tower that oversees the wall. And what was that? Yeah, this is where I wanted to jump. This is kind of a cool little deck. Okay, I'll just jump out over here. So this is the gate. There is no tunnel on this side, unlike the other. Oh, I, I'm wrong. <laughs> there absolutely is. Where does it connect? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no one out here, right? Oh, there's Lytle the Great. Yeah, yeah, it connects over here. I wonder if there's two again. Whoa. I did not expect that. This is the North Row Zone, and you can see the water, including the guy that, wow. Wait, does it actually connect? Maybe it doesn't. I think I stand corrected, it doesn't. It just comes really close. I never thought that those tunnels you were in when you were by the dock were right here. Okay, fair enough. You also get a nice little glimpse at how it all connects, if you're a gnome at least. There is one way that it connects. And you'll see some orcs out here again. Interestingly though, the orcs that are in, for the most part, the orcs that are in North Row and Oasis are not deathless. Now you can see the discoloration. Boom. Oh, brief music. Tunnel. We are back in the tunnel system with the evils, the evil Knievels, and I'm zoning, probably in the West Freeport. And I think this just connects to, what would it be? 
the the gate area that would be really weird because we're right by the east gate let's see i'm curious well i said i would pop out <laughs> one of these gates one of these tunnels i know there's some drowned citizens somewhere here i'm glad i'm not in water this time This is quite the tunnel. Okay, here's where the drowned citizens are, I believe. Or not. Hmm. I'm tempted to go down there, but my swimming skill is not great. I'm more curious about what's up here. And Ah, this, I think, is going to be the side that I ran into. No, it doesn't appear to be. What? This just leads me back here? Okay. How do I just, like, get out? Oh, I see. You got to jump up there. Aha, ah, and this, see, and this connects you. So glad I have so. Whew. All right, this is where I was. Remember? Ha! I said I might end there, and look at that, I did. All right, so that is Freeport. <laughs> that was really long. Maybe I'll try and condense this somewhat, but I really like Freeport. I think they did a great job. It's three zones with sort of a extra half zone being all that underground stuff. They do a great job of showing the, especially if you really get into all the dialogue with the NPCs, they do a really good job of showing the lore of the like how fractured the Freeport society is and how the evils are incorporated into that. And I really liked it. Okay, I'm actually gonna do some leveling next time. Promise, right now I gotta camp out and edit this damn video. Okay, bye.